CataractCoach.com, a 3D viewing system to help in tough cases. This is very useful if the patients cannot lie down flat or supine. So you can see our guest surgeon here who's tilting the microscope and look at the angle of it. So it's, it's being set up as if the surgeon would be sitting on the patient's chest. So look at the angle that's achieved there. Now, you're going to have to change gloves, keep things sterile, of course, but you're going to use an inverter. So the inverter device is going to allow the microscope to flip the view here. So there's the inverter. And now this complicated case can be performed even with the patient essentially sitting up or at least a 45 degree angle there. And the surgeon now is behind the patients and the surgeon will use this 3D viewing system for this very tough case. Now there have been good 3D viewing systems for ophthalmology surgery for many, many years. I first got involved in these more than a decade ago. And the latest ones that are available from various manufacturers are very nice. And there's something to be said for using them. With that said, I don't actually use these 3D viewing systems on a routine basis for most normal cases. Because as you probably have guessed, your view through the oculars is usually better than what you're going to see even on a 4K resolution TV. So you can see our guest surgeon here doing a beautiful job. And yes, the hand position is a little awkward. This is not a case that's recommended for a new or beginning surgeon. This should be still a very advanced surgeon. And part of it is because you're going to hold the instruments at a different angulation than you're used to. But you can see the surgeon is able to achieve this very nicely, creating that capsorexis and completing the case here in a very controlled manner, despite the patient not being able to lie down flat. So I think it's useful in this situation. I'm sure the patient's quite thankful and grateful, and these surgeons are very innovative and have done a nice thing here. Now keep in mind, depending on the machine you're using, if you're using a machine with active infusion, and so then you're okay with this position of the patient. If you're using a FACO machine that has gravity-based infusion, in other words, there's that IV pole where the pole goes up and down to increase the infusion pressure. Remember, it's the difference in height between the patient's eye and the bottle that determines the infusion pressure for gravity systems. So if the patient's head is so far up like it is here in this video, then you really need to increase the bottle height further in order to have the same balanced fluidics here. But case is going to be finished here. You can see the nucleus grooving being done. And this is a fun technique. I'm really glad the surgeon sent this in and I commend them for a job well done. And I encourage you, listen, if you have these types of systems available to you, go for it. But again, for a routine case, for more than 99% of your cases, it may not be quite as useful. It is good for a teaching hospital so that everyone in the room can watch the video in 3D. But look at your home, your home television. Remember about 10 years ago how 3D TVs were so popular? Yeah, not as popular anymore, right? So similarly, most viewers, I think, want to watch my videos on their phone or mobile device, and they're watching it in 2D, not necessarily 3D. But here you can see at the end of the case, just a really nice result, and the patient's happy, and so is the surgeon.